So I bet y'all ain't never seen this redneck in shorts before. There's a first time for everything. It's hotter than two goats doing the you know what in a pepper patch right now. What's up, Internet? Current 1776 here with another video for you. We're going to the river. You're coming with me. We're going fishing. I like fishing. And today, I got a good excuse to go fishing because the company sent a couple of collapsible, compact, easy to carry, easy to keep in a vehicle, four wheeler, side by side, bug out bag, whatever, fishing poles. See if we can catch some red breast, maybe some catfish or something like that if we catch some bait, some, you know, some small fish we can use for bait, we might try to catch a catfish. I don't know if the fish are gonna be biting, but, I got a reason to go to the river, so by golly, I'm going to the river. Y'all come along with me. We're gonna put this here boat in and uh, take us a little trip down the river a little ways. There's a spot that I wanna to try to kind of get side of the current and put my anchor out where we can be still and, and uh, put these fishing rods to the test. Maybe we'll catch something, maybe we won't, but we're, we're out in the outdoors. We're going fishing. storage is full on my phone that I was recording on so we're stuck with this little guy so hopefully you can hear me all right I'll speak up we'll try to get it done with this camera but I just steady talking about a lot of cool things out here on the river that we have now passed and I don't think it was recorded on my phone <laughs> but, oh well find a bunch of old fish cans like that one right there Really cool. Another one over there. Got to take it kind of easy out here. There's lots of stumps and stuff, as I said earlier, if it caught that. But the river's dropping some too. It's dropped about three feet from last week. A lot of this stuff that you see here was uh, barely sticking out of the water last week. Especially that right there. I know that one in the water, one out of the water. Need to get me a trolling motor. We'd be set if I had a trolling motor. But for now, we gotta use the good old anchor. All right, y'all. It's hot. I eased us up into the shade a little bit, so maybe it won't be so bad. So, what I got here is two renditions, if you will, from rigged and ready. Rigged and ready travel fishing. I got one called the World Traveler, which has a reel with it, and one called the Smuggler 5. So they're rather compact. I've had these for a while, just looking for a good time to the reel's not in there. It must be in Daniel's office. These were in my office. Daniel took them so that he could check them out and when I got it from him yesterday the uh, the, the reel was not in the package so it's supposed to have a reel with it 
the wind is turning me. So I'll show you the rod at least. So it comes in this package here. It's supposed to be a medium action. Be sure I ain't gonna hit nothing. There's your handle end. Guess I can take one of my reels off. Put it on here. It's just pieces, right? You put it together. It's got little slots for each piece. I'm having technical difficulties today, folks. Freaking one camera storage went full. And then there's no reel in this one that's supposed to be in it. And now that cut off on me. It is a spinning rod and you can tell by the type of eyelets it has right so it's got these larger eyelets usually casting rods or rods where the reels on top of the rod they have smaller eyelets and spinning reel rods have larger eyelets this is a really nice rod right here check that out I mean, that's a very nice rod it's even got the uh area there for you to put your hook and your bait so you, you can you know, tighten it up. It's pretty long. It's almost, looks like it's almost six foot long. This is in metric. 2.15 meters. Casting weights, medium 50 to 20 grain, grams. Fast 15 to 40 grams, I guess is what that's for. But really nice rod. It's a little limber. We're out here fishing for red breast, you know, small panfish and stuff. I just got these little small, cheap Zebco. Anyhow, nice packaging, really nice um, hard case right here so it stays protected wherever you, you know, put it in your vehicle or in your bag or whatever. You don't have to worry about crushing your, uh, your eyelets on your rod. And it comes with stickers. Everybody likes stickers. Just wish the reel was in there. Can't do a review on the reel. But it appeared to be a really nice reel when I was looking at it. More stickers. Case. I really dig the cases for this thing. So this one is similar than the other one, but a little different. So you got one end that's got like a rubber stopper on it and one that does not. Obviously the rubber stopper goes in the end towards your hand. And then you want to orient the eyelets properly. This one is just three parts. There's fish jumping out of there. That might be where we need to be, but we had we had to get out of the sun. So this one's a little shorter and not as big around in diameter here. So this one reads Smuggler 5 1.6 meter travel fishing rod. So this is casting weights of 0 to 25 grams fast 20 to 40 grams. And this seems to be similar in stiffness. Because of where we're fishing right now, I'm going to test this one right now. It's real tight in here, and I don't need that extremely long fishing rod. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to take this reel off of this rod, put it on this one. That just means I get to come back out again and go fishing another time so I can properly test that other that other product, a combo there, because it's a combo. I mean, if I just test the rod out on that one, it defeats the purpose of the combo. You gotta have the real that comes with it to get a proper test, you know? So, it's okay. We're gonna test this one out, and then we'll just have to come back. Well, cricket here, we're gonna get rigged and ready. See if we can catch us a little red breast. So I'm trying to be careful with my uh, cast till I get used to the length of this rod. It's a little bit longer than what I usually use with this reel. But cast well. I guess, you know, the question is with rods like this, you know, how well do they stay together if you really get into aggressive casting? Uh, sometimes, you know, I'm sure it's happened to you, it's happened to me before in the past. Typically, I use one piece rods now. But when I was younger, I used two piece rods. And 
if you don't every now and then check and be sure they're good and tight, good and tight, sometimes you go to cast and you sling the second half of your rod out into the water. While we wait, wait you on the slim jam. Oh, I hate it when they do that. Oh yeah. I hope this chest rig is working all right. For you guys, I can't see the screen, so I don't know if it is or not. But anyhow, oh, we got a fish, boy. Look at there. Perfect timing. I decided to cast over there, and the casting does rather well. Yeah, let's see what we got here. A little, f look at there. Isn't that nice? Ladies and gentlemen, that's the first fish I've caught in this boat. I just got this boat a couple weeks ago. I've only been out on it once, so and that at that time I was just riding, to make sure everything worked. That right there is the first fish with you guys right here on the video. Yo. Get out of there. Nice. So that's not a red breast, what we're looking for, but it'd be good cut bait for a catfish. So we're gonna throw him in the pot. And maybe use him a little later. Well, as far as the uh, the rod is concerned, it felt solid. Of course, that wasn't no freaking eight pound bass or nothing, but in a survival situation, in an impromptu fishing situation, feels like a nice rod. I didn't like the way that sounds. Feels like a nice fishing rod. <laughs> that was better. Good cast. Just take it, man. Quit thieving. There you go. There you go. I got you. I got you. What do we got? More catfish bait. Look at that little rascal. And he buried that son of a gun. I'm fixing to switch this over to a uh, little spinner. And what this will also do is kind of let me see what kind of sensitivity this rod has uh, as far as if I can feel that blade thumping. Doesn't mean it can't be good. So. I can I can kind of feel the lure. I can kind of feel the blade moving. Yeah. Actually, a little bit surprised by that. I didn't think I'd be able to feel that. Put a cricket on there. See what happens. Cricket on there. <laughs> Make me a little catfish rig real quick. This keeps the bait off the bottom just a little bit. Boat is out there and let it sit. <laughs> no, that's a crappy. It's a nice crappy. Look at there. What about that? Rod did good. That guy put up more fight than the little ones I've been catching. Which he's not huge, but he's respectable. So 
the rod did pretty good. Yeah, he liked that cricket on that, that spinner. I didn't get the GoPro turned on time, but something bit the cut bait. Let's see what we got. A dang. Freaking trash fish. Look at this thing. Dogfish. At least they ain't one of them snake heads. Bring it to the other side over here. Come over here. Oh, now quit your fuss now. I thank you for the for the fight though, buddy. I do appreciate that. Well, that was a quick release. Hoping to get my hands on them so I could show the camera a little better. I'm gonna run to a different spot. We're supposedly catfishing could be good. Freaking line. Dang God. We at least got to catch a few small fish. Was able to test out the rod there. Worked pretty good. I think it's cool. Something that's small, compact. Got a really nice case for it. So let me know what you think down in the comments. We'll come back and hopefully have a little better luck fishing and give this one a shot with the reel that's supposed to come with it and uh, and try again. Let me know if you like me to do some videos like this. Hopefully be a little bit more action packed and, and fun and all. I know this has probably been a little bit of a drag of a video to watch. Fish weren't biting all that great. I think it's fun. I just gotta work on my technical difficulties, figure out how best to film it. It's the first time I ever used one of those chest rigs, so that's why I switched it just to sitting like this, because I'm not sure how good that looks. But uh but anyway, let me know down in the comments if you'd like to see some more of my own personal adventures and uh, de-stressing moments out in the wild, on the river, in the woods, and all that stuff. Throw some tips and tricks in there on occasion. A little different than the normal videos you guys see from me. Let me know in the comments. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. Be sure to like, comment, share with your friends. Hit the bell icon, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you next time with another video. We're gonna head to the hill, go to the house. Eat some supper.